people sometimes get like background confused with virtual background. So your virtual Hello, hello, may peace and blessings be with you. I am Timmy Mirza. I am super passionate about helping coaches, new entrepreneurs get launched with their first offers by simplifying tech for them. Today, we are going to talk all about virtual backgrounds and screen backgrounds for your live stream. I'm primarily going to be working with StreamYard so that I can show you how to set it up in there. And essentially the steps are pretty similar, even if you're using a different live streaming platform, uh, the st steps would be pretty similar. If you're new to StreamYard, what is StreamYard used for? StreamYard is used for live streaming, especially if you want to live stream to multiple platforms all at the same time, kind of like what I am doing right now. I am currently live streaming from a different platform called Streamlabs, but it's very similar to StreamYard. Um, okay, so there are two different things I wanna talk about. One is people sometimes get like background confused with virtual background. So your virtual background is basically changing out this background that you're seeing behind me, you know, the paintings and the bookshelf, if I want to blur that out, or if, if I want to swap it out with a virtual background, that's one sort of background. And where you can change that is set it up. Let's say I, if I create a new live broadcast, I'm just going to click on that. And I'm just going to have it go to one of my private Facebook groups where I only have my best friend in the group with me. We're just doing a live, uh, just a test, right? And I'm not going to schedule it for later. I'm just going to say create this broadcast. As it is taking me there, I have a friend with me who's saying hi, beautiful. Hello, hello. So basically while I'm here, this is what I wanted to show you. There is this virtual background option. You can add a different virtual background in here if you choose to do so. Sometimes like people want to see a room in the background, right? So that's a virtual background. You can set that up and okay, let's do this. I'm going to stop sharing my video over here so I can switch over to this camera so you can see what it's going to do. It's good. Okay. So I want to make sure just like that, right? So I added a virtual background where I added this little brick wall behind me. You're like, why would somebody want to do that? But you know, you can upload your own as well over here. And I can also blur my real background so I can have my background, but blur it. Right. So that's another thing you can do with it. I want to make sure that it is not picking up my audio from here. It's not. OK, beautiful. So that is the virtual background in StreamYard. If you want to change it, this is where you go to change it right before you are setting up your live to go live. It's going to give you this option for settings. Right. If I close out of it real quick. This is where you are basically hitting the settings button. I think there's another way to get to it too, but this is one way where you can come here and add your virtual background. Okay, I'm gonna enter the studio. We're gonna pretend everything's working. Okay, so what I also wanted to show is the, the background for your screen, right? So this is, what this is gonna do, it's kinda gonna give you a little frame around your, your video and the way you do that is by setting up these backgrounds over here so i'm going to add myself to the stream so i can show you what it's going to look like right so there are different layouts that you can select here is one my video over here is a little glitchy because i'm live i'm basically on two different live stream platforms um okay so this is what it's going to look like so you can add, add this pretty background behind your video right so it's still keeping my video, it's keeping it blurred, but it's also adding this pretty frame around it. It makes it makes your videos pop out a little bit. I personally like using them also. So here's another one, right? So it just makes it more inviting. You can have some words, you can add your logo and things like that to it too. You can, um, you know, add a little bit more to it. So if I were to add our logo here, let's see what this is going to look like. This goes in the top right corner. I can play with different logos to see what looks good, right? And if I want to show my name, 
I will still display it over here. It's going to look like that, right? So you can kind of play with it and add your own background to it. Uh, where it also comes into play is if you are sharing your screen, there's going to be a little bit of space between your, your picture and the share screen. So having a pretty background also helps with that. It makes it um, look really nice and inviting. So let's do this. If I just add a just a black background over here, right? And if I go to share my screen, I'm going to hit share screen. Oh, this is going to be really funky. Um, entire screen. So now you're going to actually get to see my other screen, what that looks like. Okay. So you're seeing my other screen now, right? So see how it has given it black background over here. And if I switch it to a different one, okay. So you can see what this is going to look like, right? This, this is what it's going to add this little background behind it. So it's pretty cool. I um, do like it a lot. I'm going to just stop sharing this screen. I'm going to come back full screen on here, right? Okay. I hope this is helpful. If you want to have several of the virtual backgrounds, not virtual backgrounds, the screen backgrounds that we are using, I can share a link. You can grab it from there. Okay, so here's the link. You can go here to grab your, if you wanna grab the pretty backgrounds that we have, and there are several of them. They're like over like 20 um, different ones that we've created. So we really wanna save you time rather than you know having to sit down and create your own we're giving them to you grab them use them and if um, you are new to streamyard if you don't yet have streamyard and if you want to give this a go you can certainly go for a free version of streamyard if you want to stream to just one platform but if you want to save a little bit of money for the paid version you can grab this link which is go.simplifyonething.com/streamyard this is my affiliate link. It'll save you a little bit of money. So if you're interested in that, you can certainly use that. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if uh, there's anything else that you are struggling with or have questions about. I am going to be going into overlays and some other things in about StreamYard next week. Um, if you have you know, any other questions related to StreamYard or something like that. Also, if you would like me to put together like a mini workshop where we are playing with StreamYard, where you are um, in like a little playground and creating and setting up your own StreamYard and, you know, going live for the first time and stuff like that. If that is of interest to you, let me know in the comments because I can pretty easily put that together. Okay. Anything for your business? You want to talk about tech strategy? You can definitely book a call with me. I will quickly show my calendar link. If you want to grab that, if you want to watch me um, add this gift to an email and just craft an email using that, like, you know, some messaging around it, uh, that could be pretty fun. So I can do that in my private group. Go ahead and join my uh, Facebook group. I'm sharing, I'm um, quite active in the group, sharing additional tips and other things that come up throughout the day for me, um, some fun things in the private group. I'm not on the public uh, Facebook page as much. I feel sometimes I'm mostly in my community. So if you would like to hang out with me, please join my community. It's facebook.com slash groups slash wealthy startups. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Let me know um, if you have any questions and I will be back next week with another tech tutorial. May peace and blessings be with you.